Hello, this is uh, Rich Vernado live. Uh, I'm broadcasting uh, from the uh, Paris Town Center. Uh, I'm in parked in front of Burger King, and this is the first of uh, my dash cams that I'm going to call the Rich Vernado Show Live Dash Cam. And uh, today I want to talk about coronavirus, what we know, what we don't know. It is a concern, obviously. Uh, it's it's a fairly safe bet that the Chinese government is suppressing information, uh, that the numbers as of February 20th, uh, 2020, uh, claiming 75,000 cases, that's probably a severe underestimation. It's probably much larger than that. The death totals are all, also probably much larger than the official numbers that have been released because of the way the government over there, Communist China, likes to uh, engage in suppression of information and censorship. Now, there's a lot of theories as to the origin of the virus. I don't think that's as important as the possible long-term effects as it spreads worldwide and becomes pandemic. And the CDC has announced it probably will be a pandemic. Anyway, back to the theories of the origin. One theory, of course, that's circulated, that's been discussed, is that a, a man working at a lab uh, near Wuhan, which is one of the major epicenters. In fact, it's the first big, large epicenter in China where the coronavirus began, the outbreak began. Anyway, that this scientist was working at a lab uh, and that they were studying or experimenting with bats who contained the coronavirus and that one of the bats bit the guy. The man, of course, uh, didn't want to report it and didn't report it and went home apparently and may have exposed some people and then went back to work and and in the type of, of oppressive and repressive regime that exists over there it's understandable why the man didn't want to uh, say anything needless to say the infection could have begun that way it's a plausible explanation it's been offered uh, somewhere you can look it up it's as good an explanation as any another uh, theory that's been floated is that it was actually a bioweapon that was being developed by the Chinese near Wuhan and that it somehow got out into the general population. Again, knowing how China Chinese communist government operates, it wouldn't be it would not surprise me if they did develop it as a bioweapon. It would not surprise me if it got leaked out somehow. Anyway, I think those are interesting theories and right now not enough information exists to to confirm or verify either one of those theories. But the bottom line is it has spread to various countries throughout the world. As most of you who are keeping up with this situation are aware, there's 19 cases or somewhere thereabouts in the United States, uh, you know, in various states. One of them is in Texas in San Antonio. Needless to say, as this spreads, even though the death rate is maybe 5%, meaning maybe 5 out of 100 will die, but as it spreads, it seems to be airborne. It does seem to be easily contagious. There is an incubation period of about three to four weeks when a person can have the coronavirus and not show any symptoms. So someone could go around and be infecting other people publicly without being aware of it or without the people that they are infecting being aware of it. Uh, they've had to quarantine numerous cities in China. They are spraying disinfectant in neighborhoods and around buildings uh, throughout major cities in China where the infection exists, uh, they are having difficulty containing it. Well, anywhere that it spreads throughout the world, they will probably have difficulty containing it, up to and including the United States. Now, when it hits some of the major cities here, there will be a probably a public panic when the hospitals are full up and when many, many, many people are sick. And that's when you will have the panic reaction from the public, you know, the runs on the grocery stores, the empty shelves, the bare shelves, etc. So some of you now, and I'm, again, I want to give Stick, Stick Sex and Hammer 666 credit on his YouTube channel for warning people in every single coronavirus video that he's made so far, and he's been doing that for at least three weeks now. He does a daily update. <coughs> He recommends that you stock up on a few basic things, rice, beans, some canned goods, some bottled water. I'm going to recommend the same thing to you. I think this is a severe and a serious crisis. Uh, I think uh, a vaccine or a cure is at least a year away. 80% of the people infected by and large will recover and will survive. However, 20% 
are going to develop some other disease, respiratory in nature probably, pneumonia being one of those diseases. And a fraction of these people, even if it is 5%, even if it is only 5 out of 100, a fraction of these people are going to die. Now, when this goes pandemic and is, and is on a global scale, that does add up to hundreds of thousands and or millions of people who will probably die from the coronavirus. So, uh, when it spreads and when it becomes a big thing, be prepared to stay indoors as much as possible. Be prepared not to go out into the public and have uh, an ample food supply on hand to ride out uh, however long the thing goes on. And this is Rich Vernado. This is my advice concerning the coronavirus. Thank you very much.